This is the Nike SB vertebrae after 100 kickflips. First impressions right out of the box, I noticed how light and comfy these shoes were. They definitely fit true to size. I have wide feet and I didn't have any issues at all. I normally skate Vulk shoes, so I was a little hesitant to try these, but once I got the flick figured out, I really like how these shoes flicked. I was also really impressed at how fast these broke in for a cup sole. So after 25 kickflips, not a whole lot of wear, just your basic little scuffs on the suede. These shoes are on the thinner side, so they have a lot of board feel for a cup sole. However, you still feel like the shoe has some support from the foam midsole. I really like the tongue centering straps on the shoe. They make the shoe wrap around your feet real nice and fit like a glove. So we're about to hit 50. You can see some scuffs on the suede, a little bit of wear on the rubber, but no lace tears. So I normally tear a lot of laces on my shoes, but I'm really impressed with the lace placement on the vertebrae. They're high on the shoe and also feature lace protectors. When I first saw these shoes, I thought they looked a little funky, but once I tried them on and saw them on my feet, I changed my opinion immediately. I actually really like how these shoes look now. So we're just about at 75 kickflips. As you can see, just suede and rubber wear. That's it. The vertebrae features perforations around the toe box as well as a panel of mesh giving the shoe pretty good breathability. Overall, I'm really impressed by these shoes. And for 85 bucks, it's a good value. You can get the Nike SB Vertebrae at Cal Surf. One last look at the shoe here. As you can see, not much changes from 75, just a few more scuffs on the suede. Still gonna skate great.